Hello everyone! Um, I made these small pipes here for a friend of mine. They are in 1 to 6 and I thought uh, maybe try and print them in half scale. So I scaled them down with 50% and printed the smaller ones on my resin printer as well. And they actually came out really good. So I am going to show you how I paint these small, small pipes here. This is one of the 1 to 6 ones. Uh, but let's go to the workspace and look at it. So here you see the done pipes that I made in 1 to 6. I actually think they came out so, so good. Um, and in the link in the info box below, you will find them in 1 to 6. But then you can put on the support for these for your resin printer and print them in half scale so you go in and scale them down to 50 percent of original size and then you have them in 1 to 12 and here you can see how they look beside the original one and i actually think they came out really really good so let's get to painting so I wanted to color the first little pipe here and for some reason I didn't click record but I used this yellowish rust for painting the tip of this little um, pipe you see here. I don't know what this one is called in English but on this little straight pipe. So I colored that with the um, rust color. Then I am going to use some of this black color and I am going to show you what I am coloring on the four pipes. So as you see, I am coloring the little tip of uh, the pipe, the piece that you put in the mouse, uh, the mouse piece, um, on these three uh, pipes. And the last one where we have the rusty color on, I am taking a thin or a tiny brush and I'm just making a thin, thin uh, ribbon here around where the white and this rust brown are meeting. So a tiny ribbon. Then I'm going back to my rusty color, my black, and some red color here. It's a flat red from Vallejo. I really love these colors. And I am taking a flat yellow as well. And I am going to mix these four colors a tiny bit on my mixing tray here so that I have all four colors and as I have two of them to start with I'm just putting the two uh, other colors in here and maybe a little more of the rusty color. So I'm gonna mix the red and the brown and taking a little yellow and a little black and just mixing in a very deep dark brownish color and I'm using that for this pipe only coloring the body not the little um, rim around the top of the uh, pipe just the body I'm going to let this dry and then I am using the rust color and the red uh, blended together. I have them here on my palette so I'm not gonna pour up anything new. Just mixing them together into this dark deep reddish color and I am taking this little pipe and painting everything that is, isn't black already. So this little pipe here is actually very easy and very quick to paint. Remember to let these pipes dry all the way up before you continue with another, another color. So the black here is all dry before I continued. Then I'm going to take a tiny bit of my white um, paint here and place that on there. And I am going to mix that with a tiny bit of 
the uh, yellowish, uh, flat yellow color here and I have both on my tray so I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of the yellow and put that into my white so I get kind of an off white yellowish, uh, off white color, not yellow but more off white. And I'm painting the rest of this pipe. I am painting the top rim of this one. Remember to paint down the little hole in the pipe as well, otherwise it will look very weird. If you want to, you can paint the inside of the hole in a deeper or darker black brown color uh, so that it looks as if the pipe has been used, but I'm just gonna uh, use my white here. Let that dry. Then I am taking this pipe here and I'm just gonna paint everything that doesn't have the black paint on it. So this one is also a very easy pipe to do. When my pipes are all dried up, I am going to take this little straight pipe and some of this darker reddish brown and I'm dry brushing that over the white part or the off white part of this little uh, pipe right here and that's all there is to the pipes. I do give them a layer of a glossy varnish and that's all there is for this one. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!